Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to the last week of our Alpha 19 playthrough here for now, but we're going to finish we're going to finish this bad boy off on our last Blood Moon. So what we're doing is going around and having some fun, revisiting some of the buildings that I have done already because they have respawned. You know, there's the loot there. They have, man, this gun is pretty strong. I guess if you... If you get your aim on with it... Forgot about that door. I forgot about that door. Wow, I just got enough broken arm. Stupid guy. Huh. A splinter cast. Only a splinter cast. Let's uh let's back off a little bit here. Yeah, that was not good. Hopefully I have a cast in my thingy. <laughs> that would be funny if I actually got killed. Oh. And I don't. Okay, so I need I need some wood. I need some uh, cloth. So a cast might help it actually feel heal faster. Problem is I got to make that on the uh, chemistry. All right, so we need duct tape, wood, and cloth. And of course, I have duct tape on me. I don't know why I never care. Probably now more than ever, you should carry uh, splints because of all the different ways you can actually get hurt. I need to find some duct tape. Or glue. Do 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 do. Um, yeah, they're waiting for me in there. Let's go over to the passing gas. Yeah, the, the jumper guys, they are still wicked scary, right? They'll, they hit you in the legs. They hit you in the legs. Break stuff. What happened was I was damaged, like I said. Oh, duct tape. I was damaged, like I said I was, uh, that you can get crit hit, and I got critted, and that's what happened. And we got wood, now cloth. Uh, what is cloth in here? Get out my face. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's some nice stuff at the old convenience store. Just find yourself an old stanky couch. All right, let's make a couple splints. Splint, please. Ooh, much, much better. Much, much better. So let's uh, see. Let's get some effective digestion going. Let's eat some meat stew. That's what's for dinner. And in the vending machine... Health bar, health bonus, armor crit resist right there. That is, that's a good one because the crit is the one that's going to make you bleed, break an arm, any of that stuff. Armor crit resist. Fall damage, rock busters, mining harvest. Armor duration, five minutes. 
I need like something that would have healed me faster. So those guys, all right, they showed me that I was getting a little cocky, that you're not as tough as you think you are. You're gonna try and kill us all with this desert vulture. Not so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is now have these in here. You guys are like, yeah, finally. Didn't need to do that, but I did it anyway. Throw that away. Some stuff that I can sell. Some duct tape in there. Keep this on me. Perfect. Desert vulture, please. Alright, you evil, evil people. Did they break this door down? They sure did. Maybe they broke down the one on the inside, too. That was a fair amount of... Yeah, they broke down the double doors there as well. That was a lot that came out. I was a little taken back by the amount that came out of here. I wonder if they reset or if they're gone. So, nope, there's some. That stupid dude! That's what you call a choke point? Choke point, please! Look at this guy. Oh, I'm still here! No, you're not. Dude, you lost your head. Choke points for days. They're not smart enough to break this uh, hay bale wheel. Alright, I think payback is accomplished. How much is that? $11.57. Paper. I must have cleared these out. Alright. Desert Vulture. Yeah, everything's a little bit higher now. To sell. Everything's a little higher to sell. Oh, I love the truck. I really want to drive one of these things, man. The army trucks? That would be cool. Yeah, I've been throwing away that stuff. Military armor parts. 16 of them. Yeah. They're okay, I guess. I think even if those things don't have fuel in them, they still explode. So be careful with that. Alright, army truck. See... And I just doubled its price. These being steel. All right, I'm good, I'm good in here. I got, this is the, uh... so what they want you to do is they want you to come in here, walk up to this, and then you get hoarded. You get hoarded. You got, <laughs> it's the old uh, tarp trick. Hey, there's the stuff. I'm just gonna walk up and buy it, or uh, pick it up. And then it's come out from everywhere. I do like this one. I like the, the two. I've always liked the Shaka Messiah stuff, but the two new POIs, this one and that other one, really cool. Really cool. I'm trying to think of, of like something that would be, you know, they could still do a lot with uh, the Ostrich Hotel, right? There's a lot of rooms in there. I think they could, you can run all the way up the stairs and then it's just that room on the top that you break this stuff out and get to the roof. It's a very, very cheap payoff. They could do blockades and make you go floor to floor, room to room, kind of like that apartment building that I like so much. You know what I mean? What the heck is that floating up there? And make it another, like, epic POI. They think they really hit the hit the nail on the head with the um, 
you know, the one I always say that is my favorite, the apartment building where you go start in the basement. That one is well, so good. So good. All right, let me grab that other stuff I'm going to sell, which is... That's it. So... If we repair stuff... the best way to get full price right i mean fine repair kits everywhere really realistically all right trader joel is this you know i think one of the things that like increased a, a, a touch of my frustration with the solar panels not you know they're they're working but they're a little buggy is how much they were they're so expensive right all right, we have no cash with us. 723. Yeah, see, so it, it's right what that says. The steel stuff is super good money. That's almost 12,000 worth. Two dollars per bullet. What's in the old secret stash? Some AP rounds. Is this eighteen dollars per bullet? <laughs> it's eighteen dollars per bullet. You think the ammo crunch that's going on right now is expensive? What the deuce? Eighteen dollars per bullet. Why? Oh, the solar bank is cheap. It's the solar... These guys that are expensive. 25000 And that's with better barter. That's with my... That's with my discount. They got a shot... Three shotgun turrets in here. Might as well buy them. Might as well buy them. You come back sometime. You shut your hole. Woo. Neener, neener. I, I don't think you can ever have too many turrets. My, my humble opinion. What is going on over there? Re <laughs> Reload. Jesus. That's a mini horde waiting for you. This is a mini horde waiting for you. Sometimes you can see them in the distance. You think they're fast? A good mixture. Got a nurse, a, a mom, a business dude, a skater dude, and the the hoodie dude. Yeah, hoodie dude. Hoodie doody doody dude. Burn. I think I'm gonna go maybe put down these turrets. Oh, you know what I should have looked for? I'm gonna go back real quick. I was just thinking, oh, you know, I'm putting down all this electrical. I probably should get some more engines, you know, but instead of running around and scrapping all this stuff, looking for the engines, see if he's got a couple. See if he has a couple. Which is easier, I think, right? What are you going to do with the money, after all? The tokens. All right, so we have 2186. I'll grab these. It's not bad to have multiple power sources because if one goes down, then you still some you know your other things are still active. Uh, engine. No. No engine at all. Generator bank which. 
650. Definitely want that. Chemistry station. Two spotlights. Take those. Wait. Look. Did I not type in engine? I know I typed in Thanks engine. Thanks for shopping here. You Come shut here. up. Thanks for shopping here. Actually, he's the nicer one. He's not the one insulting my heritage. Well, we got a gener uh, generator bank and one engine. That's not terrible. They're cheap too, for like 400, 400 tokens? All day, all day, error day. What the? Okay. Apparently there's a rather large piece of iron right there. And a pier! <laughs> Pretty good timing. I remember I've essentially isolated this place now. Take out... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. This stays, this stays. That's good. Good! Ooh, the garage looks so empty. I should put the, uh... <laughs> I should put the gyrocopter in there. What could go wrong? Alright, so... Hmm. We'll have to figure out where we want to place these things. And that, and that, and that. And these three things, I have one other engine here. So that's two engines I can put in this thing. Hungry, hungry hippo. Oh, that's right. We were making uh, chili dogs, right? Oh, man. The chili dogs. Chili dogs in the house. I'm going to put this one bullet away. <laughs> one bullet, please. And let's see. What else? We're going to set these things up right now. Take those, we got those, and the spotlights. All right, my luck, I'll put them on one side. I'll put them on one side and they'll come from the other side. All right, so what do we have here? We need this and this. One relay maybe. Not really. I don't really need that, honestly. Right. See, I could put two, two on one side and take these two off the back and move them. See, the, the first night I was fighting all over here, that last fight, I was down over here, mostly. It's just random where they come from. It's just really random, I think. So I'm just thinking about putting some shotgun turrets a little bit farther out. I was going to put one here and one here, but that's it's such a stretch for the generator. Oh, maybe I should protect this with a pair of turrets over here. Yeah, whatever. Do that one there. Is it right on the... It's not right on the edge. It's over one and out two. It's like that, right? Yep. All right. Uh, oh, I didn't bring... Can I use this? Yeah, I can. All right. What do you think? Shotgun turrets right there, like flanking my little area? Yeah, they'll be helpful. They'll be helpful. Good and good. OK, 
Okay. Okay. If I put the generator... Th these probably could be powered from the other thing, honestly. Maybe I should just try that. How many... How many watts are these? Where did I put my... There it is. How many watts are these? These are 15 waters, huh? So we have that generator there. We have the thing on the roof. That generator there goes up to there and over. They're all kind of tied together, really. They're all kind of tied together, I think. It gets confusing. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to connect that. I'm gonna need another one of those, I believe. I believe! Yeah, that's going to there. I was gonna connect from there to that other one. I'll need to put one on the corner, I think. I'll just make another relay. I'll just make another relay! Okay, so we got more fuel and we got more paint. Delish. Relay. Relay. Oh, relay. 30 seconds, please. Another turret. Not sure what to do with that turret yet. Just not sure. Uh, I think that actually, yeah, I think that's his. I don't need to put this on there. One time through is enough. So blade traps, we could do some blade traps. I don't know. I like the blade traps. They're fun. You know the the noise they make, right? right we're gonna need some more forged iron. And we got some right here. Uh, let's make a uh, 22. Yeah, they take forever to make. 13 minutes. Anyway, those are going to be to um, to put around those turrets. <laughs> what if you got shocked just walking on the electrical wires? It's gonna cross. Oh dang it! It's gonna go right across here. Uh, I should have made one more. That should have been actually higher. If I can put it up here. Yeah, that one there. <laughs> I don't think I could <laughs> make a relay in here. No, you gotta be at the bench. Dang it! I just, I don't, I know, look, the, you can drive through it, you can walk through it, it, it doesn't matter. It, it matters to me. It matters to me that there's a cable going across, right? I'm gonna have to stop that. Those. I'll take two of these for now. And then after that's done, we'll go back to making some of these guys. 20 of those. 
12 minutes. 12 minutes. What? It's like you're you like you're handcrafting them, you know? Like you're oh, wrong way. I got to remember that that is not the way to go anymore. All right. So now we're going to reconnect this one from up top. Where is it? Oh, I didn't put it there yet. Is that a, oh, it's so hard to see. Good thing you got, you got really good reach with your uh, electrical thingies. Okay, that's good. That's good. Perfect. See? Now it just covers up the meaty sign is all. gonna put stuff around the base of this so in case they want to get all crazy okay yeah those see that's the thing you make it with the rebar it's one cement cement's expensive man hopefully that's all good I probably shouldn't I probably shouldn't have this stuff off like what, saving fuel I'm gonna turn on the generators, cause what happens if I get some kind of crazy mini horde that comes in here? So that's on. I thought I turned this off. Oh, huh, interesting. I did not turn that off. Max output here is 250 watts. We're only at 184, so we're doing good there. Let's see what this one says on this side. Get off the turret! Three hundred watts, and we're only at seventy-two. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Can I can I do this? There. That's what I thought it was. So the top was all being run off that, and I wanted to run off this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's that looking now? 300, yeah, we're still good. So, the only thing that's being run off that up top is that particular turret. And I'm, I think I'm gonna put some of these, these two lights up there. We'll see what that looks like. Good thing about that is it'll indicate whether the thing is working or not. Because you don't know if the turret's working until some jerk water comes through, you know? Like that. Like that. It's on. It's on. Now this one here will be running off the other one though. That one's on. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now I do have this extra one. I'll just, I'll hold on to it for now. I don't know if I'll even use it, but you have the chance to buy it. Might as well just buy it. Put it down here. So we've got not only that, we've got the two engines for it. We've got this turret here. Yeah, we should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, da, 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 da. We got these. And some more fence posts if we need them. 
And I could just jump off here. It's, you know, I wouldn't hurt myself. Well, I got a sprain, but you could just jump off. You don't have to do this. It's just getting back in there, really, is the thing. All right. Use these six up now. Something about like that. There we go. Perfect. Come get some! Come get some! Looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna eat a sham out of here, I think. Tasty. Tasty sham, please! More stamina regen. Food health. Cure infection. 5%! It's only 5% on cure infection, so it used to be... Jeez Louise. I forgot how loud it was. This person right here. Oh, it was a, a spider zombie, jumpy jumpy. Now look at that, look at the range from right here. That, that is really good range. Problem is, the SMG turrets, they, they run, they go through ammo so fast. They will definitely run out of ammo in one night. Like, halfway through the night. And I think that it's almost like midway, let's say that there's, um, there's round, uh, waves based, right? As soon as you get it, the first wave comes in. Once you kill enough of them, another wave comes in. It's like the third wave that comes in. It's all like infected, irradiated cheerleaders and cops and bikers and stuff, right? Well, if your turrets are done and then the bad guys come in, that's why sometimes if, if I'm standing there, right, and I have a switch on the wall, I can turn off these turrets let the shotgun turrets do their thing. Have, uh, you know, blade traps and whatever else out here to help out. But then after midway through, flip the switch. Yeah, that would be cool. Flip the... Let's see, we have four of those or two? We have four SMG turrets down below. I could put them all on one switch. Which would save a lot, but wow. The difference in having those and not having those, that range is crazy good. The range is crazy good. Wait a minute. Why is why is the health so low? <laughs> why is the health so low? Oh my god, did I crash? Well, okay, that's a rhetorical question. Did I crash this? remember the last time I've actually flown this at night. Yeah, it takes a lot. That's a long straight to get off the ground. I thought I remember this thing being a little bit smoother. Control-wise. But you know with these, you could fly the, you could fly, look how good that looks. Oh my God, it looks so good on my screen. You could fly right to the top of the, um, the different uh, factories and stuff and land and just get the loot. I mean, but that, what's fun about that? The, the fun thing is actually killing everyone there. It looks really good actually at night from up here. I don't know. I know it's probably pretty dark for you guys. It's dark for me, but I can see. And the, the, the textures, they just did such a good job with the textures on this one. It's like this this pregen has a, a pretty nice uh, town layout configuration now okay hold on I just said you could land on top of those buildings but we all know how are you gonna take off again right how are you gonna take off again 
This is a good... If you actually go gyrocopter as early as you can, it's a good way to see what's all in the map, right? Without having to drive and drive and drive and wonder. You just wonder, is there something else over there? It temporarily uh, stalls you when you when you go into the map but you can see from here how the edge of the map there is a little bit past it but there's not necessarily is that a whole snow town over there oh my god I don't think we went this way there's looks like there's a there's a snow town over that way oh shoot why am I not paying attention there's the other shotgun messiah thingy down there, I think. Yeah, it's right there. Right in the corner. Look, there's a town over there. And there's a snow town over there. Let's go to those. What if it's off the map? Oh, geez, there is a lot left. I, I did not realize there was that much left. Holy cow. But from with this thing, you can see it. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you remember how I said I could see it? Oh, shoot. The fog has come in. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, thank God I didn't just crash into a lake. Okay, this is super dangerous. I'm going through Sherwood Forest here. I'm trying to stay, like, right along the top of the trees. But this thing is either going up or going down. It's... Looks like I might be over the town now. Wow, dude, what's with this... inclement weather? Oh, I can't see anything. Shoot up! Okay. Alright. So, the only problem with flying somewhere like this is now I don't have my vehicle. I could have brought, I should have brought my motorcycle with me. Like an idiot, I didn't do that. I mean, you can drive this thing around the streets if you want. I think. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little, yeah, it's a little dicey. It's a little, it doesn't necessarily handle that good. Like, you barely push it. Like, I'm not pushing anything right now, and it's just, it's just sailing. This is an eerie, creepy place. Super, uh, super foggy. Clunky oil. Very hard to see what's here. This whole town is in a, in a really, really dense forest. This is all new area. Look at this. It's all burnt forest area, but burnt, burnt with a lot of the trees still here. This is me trying to actually back up. Oh. Okay, it, it definitely doesn't like to back up better off just taking a very wide turn come on get through the trees Jeez. I'm gonna try and fly straight north and find that uh, snow town I just can't see anything here it looks like a cool town but it's very hard to see Gonna need to. F I think I have. I have fuel on me. I think I. I think I put fuel on here and I have fuel on me. 
but it wouldn't hurt to find a passing gas just in case. So I know flying straight north, there was a snowy area, and hopefully I can get out of this. Wow, look at that. The mountain, you can barely see, but there's a mountain on the right side with a bunch of trees on it, about ready to crash into a giant mountain. It's so fitting that there's all this burnt crash stuff on the ground as I'm flying over. Oh my god. There it is. There's the snowy area. Hey! hey, hey. Oh, and we're fo actually following a road. Alright, you guys, we're going to come back next episode. We're going to check out this snowy area up here. Hopefully I can keep flying. Anyway, you guys, hit the like button. Join me in the next episode!